We also, I've spoken with Mitsubishi twice last week and we also have a new offer on the table from Mitsubishi, which is awesome. The offer, I think they have stepped up their game a lot and realized they need to provide some good customer service and they can't just leave us hanging here. So they, they've they picked us up and we have a, have a sustainable and grateful offer on the table now which I'm very very happy to share with you but I need to have confirmation from them what I can share and what not I hope I can share everything I I'm, I'm pretty sure I can share the whole story with you later on and um, because it it will be it will be a positive story about Mitsubishi and the outcome of this battery problem disaster issue so I know I've I've announced this a couple of times. Mitsubishi, there will be an update, and it's coming soon. And believe me, it it, it is coming soon. It will be here. It will be coming very soon. I just need to wait for the confirmation, and then we get you guys updated with all this stuff. Okay, I'll go back to work for another one and a half hours, two and a half hours, and then I'll be back to do more testing with the battery temperature in this hot climate. Okay. Oh yeah, and interesting to see is that the fan of the battery cooling has not kicked in yet because we are at 34 degrees if we get 35 it will kick in and it will also trigger the air condition and this is something we have discussed um, on Facebook on the Facebook forum recently I'm still very convinced that the whole cooling circuit is a closed loop inside the battery because a we don't have an air filter and B the fan never kicks in just by itself it always is in combination with the aircon to cool the battery down fan and aircon are always kicking in at the same time so it's a closed loop okay and now we are getting close yeah we've got um, half an hour now the engine running <laughs> the engine running <laughs> we've got half an hour the ignition on and the air condition on and we have now lost three kilometers in half an hour just sitting here and having the aircon on Could hear the engine uh, the air condition kicking in straight away Ooh, oh yeah 2.7 2.7 ampere hours um, that was for the half an hour we char um, we cooled down the car during my lunch break I'm not sure if this includes the one ampere hour of loss okay so we've got 36 degrees in the battery and the fan output is 47% and you will see in a second that we are already losing um, using <laughs> it's a slow yeah there's the aircon just climate control is off this is just for cooling down the battery about one kilowatt of energy we've used already 0.1 amp hour <clears throat> just for cooling the battery so 35 degrees definitely the kick-in temperature and of course guys don't don't get me wrong heat Heat is the worst enemy of lithium-ion batteries, or in fact, of all batteries. It doesn't really matter. That's why I don't use the aircon. <laughs> That's not enough energy in the battery. We've got 14 kilometer on the gasometer and 57% set of charge. So there's no freaking way I can make this <clears throat> unless I'm driving so slow. And we have uh, 39 degrees outside at 10 past 4 p.m. Battery temperature has come down one degrees already. The cooling is working. So we have only 36% left, not even that 30, 35% left. And I've still got about three and a half, four kilometers to drive. Gasometer shows three kilometers. So, well then, and the battery temperature has fallen to 22 and 35. Well, and there we go, the engine just kicked in. And now for good, turn on the air condition. Oh, so warm. We're on the corner 
and I'm pressing the button now here for the gate so hopefully it works from here because <laughs> it takes quite a while to open the gate actually no it didn't from here yep yeah, here it opens <clears throat> Cool! Works. Solar powered battery backup. I haven't I haven't programmed the whole situation down there yet. Um, there is some stuff to program like delays and master slave gate and all this kind of stuff. And then it will be a little bit faster. But you know I don't I don't really care. It takes about 30 seconds from when you press the button until fully open, so yeah. I don't really care. What I care is 26.4% state of charge and the battery temperature still 25, 36, so we won't go any lower. So when I turn off the car now, the cooling will stop straight away. When I plug in the car to charge it, it won't turn on anymore. Apparently this has changed with the 2018 model. And these cars also ch um, cool at on AC when you plug them in. The battery is too hot. I mean, at the end, it it I don't know. Does it make sense to cool the battery on AC? Because the current is fairly small. The power going into the battery is fairly small. So loud here. And if you cool the battery with five, six hundred, seven hundred, fifty, maybe one kilowatt while charging, this goes away from your EVSE from the power being delivered to the car so if you have a smaller EVSE if you have a smaller EVSE like I have with only 16 amp and it takes away one kilowatt already the car would only charge with 2.5 kilowatts all in total so this goes off your so regardless what size of your charger you have it will take it away from the delivered power to the car so that means um, the cooling power goes away from your charging power so in especially right at the end when the charging speed of the battery tapers off oh well then you've got more more power from the EVSE available anyway to cool the battery down so it should be fine yep so I think it'll work when they um, when they cool the battery on AC there should be no problem I wonder if they can actually change the software and make the cooling kick in earlier or if they can add additional function to the Australian cars like when you charge on AC and the battery is warm kick in the cooling as well I'm not sure if this is possible it should be it should be just a software update and then it should just work okay guys we call it off now we are 26 36 degrees battery temperature and I'm down to 24 point four percent set of charge I use 0 0.8 liters per hundred kilometers that's not too bad so I'll turn off the engine now turn off climate control because I don't need it tomorrow morning oh you can hear the fan that's the actual cooling of the air condition it's not the air condition uses one air condition uses one kilowatt at the moment and to get rid of the heat the cooler fan runs at the front okay that's enough talk about battery temperatures and everything about um, I need to go to the pool now it's uh, 36 degrees it's 4 30 p.m. and I'll hop into the water now okay guys thanks again for watching thanks for your support this is Andy from a hot place here down in Australia I'm signing off you stay charged and we will see us in the next video okay bye bye